Hey, what is up guys? Alex here from thetechnoclass.com and uh, maybe you know me from, you know, doing some laptop reviews or more likely smartphone reviews. Uh, but maybe you don't know me so much. I'm actually a very big sort of a sim racing fan. Um, and actually you can show, I can show you my steering wheel right there. There's the setup right there. And actually I even bought that ultra wide monitor for the exact purpose of uh, playing racing games because in most racing games you want to see more of your sides and that's more important because obviously when you're uh, driving you want to see the sides I'm gonna make a video about that ultra wide actually I should have made a video about it already um, but I haven't edited the unboxing yet I can give you I'll talk about that ultra wide soon but right now we have a different topic today today we're doing something about my sim racing rig as you can see right there it's made of currently made of wood uh, that is a diy system uh honestly actually no i bought the bookshelf it's actually a bookshelf and i mounted my steering wheel my uh, pedals and my shifter onto the uh the, the bookshelf right there which actually works pretty pretty good i'll show you right now all right so say hello to sort of the uh intermediate entry-level rig this is obviously a trusty logitech steering wheel this is the g27 get a second hand one if you can they're pretty affordable now and this is the shifter and those are the three pedals works really well especially for uh entry level to intermediate racing a lot of people still run by run with these especially here in the philippines because a lot more expensive racing products are are much much harder to find and that's basically what we're gonna talk about today so I bought a new mounting solution for the steering wheel so I'm not replacing the steering wheel anything uh, the electronics and whatnot but I'm gonna replace the DIY rig as you can see it is shaky it's just a bookshelf it's made out of uh, particle wood and it's already cracked over here because of how much weight you put onto the pedals and so that means I bought an expensive gadget over here. So this is the steering wheel stand. I got it from Lazada for about 9,800 pesos. That's basically $200. And if you're a hobbyist yourself, or maybe if you're interested in simulation racing yourself, you know, maybe this could give you an idea on uh, what kind of uh, accessories to buy or how to get started. Or for example, this ultra wide monitor, I got it for actually for the, for the specs that ha that thing has, I got it for a pretty good price. And I'll give you that video later. It's, it's also still expensive for a lot of people. Guys, this hobby is pretty, pretty pricey. But if you're into the hobby, the amount of money I spend is not actually a lot because people spend a hundred thousand pesos 200 thousand pesos just to get their just to get their rig just right i spent a fraction of that just to just you know just to get started get the best for the the smallest amount of money so we're gonna get into this now and uh maybe we'll do a time lapse i don't know time lapse build we'll see in just a bit
Alrighty boys and girls, so here is the steering wheel stand already built and uh, according to the branding this is BY steering wheel stand and all of the the uh, instructions say BY steering wheel stand so I'm gonna officially officially call it the BY steering wheel stand and this is what it looks like and uh, it's actually not bad all of the things are pretty solid metal right there. This mounts pretty well and everything's pretty solid. You can see that I mounted the, the shifter column a little back instead of moving it forward. However, it is a little bit low for me, but then again, my chair is pretty high. So that's why the shifter feels low. This is pretty decent, but I think it's rather small. If you're maybe six foot high, six foot five, this may be small, but for me, I'm six foot, around six foot one. This works very well for me. Oh, by the way, so the way I mount it so that it doesn't run away from my chair is that I have, you know, a zip tie or, you know, plastic ties with a carabiner right there. So I tie it up with the carabiner. It doesn't run away from my chair. And that's how you can play as much as you want without pushing the steering wheel stand away. That's what I also did with this guy. This is the old stand, by the way. Um, yeah, that's a good way to keep your stand, you know, from not running away from you. And I'll show you the, the driving position, trying not to like tip over this table so it won't tip over the monitor. Here we go. So here is the driving position. There we go. Just the right, you know, placements and everything. So the shifter is a little low. Here's my knee. Here's the shifter is a little lower than my knee, actually. Just, uh, just a tad under, but it's still okay. I can still shift. I need to hit the clutch before shifting. And, um, yeah, that works well. Let's see. Let's give it a quick try. With one hand. Oh, one-handed. Oh. Overshooting. All right, let's try this. Drift this one-handed. Oh. Woo. Oh, I needed to. <laughs> I needed the other hand there because I wasn't turning fast enough. All right, so let's talk about the stand a little bit in more detail. So everything comes in the box, including all of the screws and mounting hardware, uh, the steering wheel mounting solution and stuff. All of these little, uh, you know, hand tightened screws are also in there. They are, these are just friction based, so there's no like hole that it goes through. Uh, so friction based unfortunately means, you know, if given enough weight and force, this could potentially like go lower, for example, if this is not tight enough. However, that means there's infinity amount of adjustments. You can, you know, move this back, move this forward, at least up to here. So it depends on you, uh, the person who's using it, how, you know, how far the steering wheel goes, the telescope of the steering wheel. And it also adjusts through here so that can go up and down. I have it almost as high as it can go and not too further forward. I think it has enough uh, to go up to here. Same with the uh, shifter. You can even mount the shifter forward over here. You know, just flip this over here and the shifter would be here, from here to here. Uh, but this is about as high as the shifter can go. I wish it can go higher. I wish they gave us a longer like uh, tube or metal plate that goes maybe another half uh, foot. But hey, what can you do? This is an affordable uh, steering wheel stand. By the way, steering wheel stands typically go for about $300 in the United States. Uh, those are the cheap ones and uh, I don't like them. And also, well, actually the $300 ones are okay, but in the Philippines, they're pretty rare. They're, you really cannot find them. So I went with this one, which is about $200. I, I think this is, you know, decent enough for $200.
Uh, internationally, this sells for about, uh, I would say, $150, $100 plus. So we do have to pay an extra $50 for the shipping and the handling and of course being able to get it from Lazada. Uh, in comparison, there's a lot of play seat in the Philippines. So play seat is a very popular option for uh, steering wheel stands in the Philippines. I don't like them either because first of all, they're expensive because they come with the seat. Number two, they're also kind of gimp because they have a pole coming from the middle of the the pedal area going to the steering wheel uh, mounting solution so it goes down here down to here so that means you can't really move your feet your left foot goes on the left of the pole and the right foot goes over the right foot of the pole i mean typically you wouldn't need to cross your feet but i don't like the fact that there's a pole in the middle because that's not natural steering uh, natural driving position. I like it more like this where, you know, there, there's a cockpit area where you can get your feet in uh, very cleanly. Um, plus, it's easier to get in and to get out of, you know, just like it's not like a bicycle or anything. Um, yeah, so the, the play seats are actually expensive in the Philippines. Plus, they're branded and all that. So I don't, you know, they're expensive and I don't like their chairs. I like my chair. I like not having a chair taking up space in my room. So that's why I bought this guy. All right, so I know in the Philippines, you know, 10,000 pesos is a lot of money, uh, even for this kind of hobby. Uh, a lot of people I know just build their own rig with wood and, you know, just fix their own supporting beams and stuff like that. But keep in mind that wooden uh, builds are usually like cut to size. You can't really adjust them very well. Uh, and then, you know, there's a lot of measurement and uh, there wood involved in a lot of work. Um, so this is a, you know, like I said, turn, a turnkey solution. Hey, that's a driving, that's a driving metaphor, huh? Um, and uh, I think it's not bad for the price. Like I said, uh, play seat is expensive. And also uh, a lot of the imported ones are $300 plus, plus the shipping, plus the taxes you have to pay. This one is, like I said, the turnkey solution for about $200 or 10,000 pesos. All right, mga kuya, that's about it. This is the steering wheel stand, the BY by steering wheel stand. I bought it from Lazada. I'm not saying you should all buy one. I'm, I mean, I don't think anybody has, you know, I don't think everybody has a steering wheel to set up anyway. Shout out, by the way, to Randolph Novino, B-Boy, or Pinoy Screencast, because he just came back online uh, after a long hiatus. He's a big Filipino YouTuber, so you go subscribe to him as well. So, I'm going to keep playing. Thanks for watching, my Ate Mahoya. See you guys next time. Bye. Subscribe to B-Boy.